Hello, so in this video, I'm going to call these videos from now on Character Profiles, in which I will answer a question on a character from a movie. For my first character profile, I want to look at Rey from the sequel trilogy of Star Wars. I know I've been doing a lot of Star Wars videos recently, but I'm really into Star Wars. It's the one of the franchises I know the most about. So let's look at Rey. Is she a Skywalker? That is the question. Now I've made my own little theory that would definitively say, yes, she is a Skywalker. And the theory is basically this. Palpatine escaped after Vader threw him into the hole in the Death Star. Bad design choice, if you ask me, to put such a big hole in your main throne room. But he escapes by the skin of his teeth. Retreats to Exegol. From there, he knows he needs a new body. And he has people there who are working on making a clone of his body. He wants something young. He wants something strong. He knows he's powerful, but he doesn't feel he's powerful enough. So, what does he do? He uses the DNA he anticipated he may need one day and decides to have the cloners create him an entirely new body, one cloned from his DNA and the DNA of Anakin Skywalker, one of the most powerful Force users in the galaxy that he had ever met. Qui-Gon actually says in The Phantom Menace that Anakin has more midichlorians than even Master Yoda. If a Jedi can sense that, this would placate to the ability of Palpatine wanting that power level. So, they make the clone. The clone then turns against its creator, runs away, has a child, Rey, decides to abandon the child on a planet, that way the child will be safe. He is ultimately killed by the bounty hunter chasing him along with his wife. Ray is forgotten. She doesn't really use the Force. But inside, she has the blood of Palpatine and the blood of Skywalker pumping through her veins. So that is the first way, and that's just my own personal theory on how she could be a Skywalker. But let's dive a little deeper. Okay, so Disney won't come out and say that I'm right. How can she possibly claim to be a Skywalker then? Again, the answer is actually very simple. There are two possible answers from the movies alone, which could describe how she is a Skywalker. The first one is actually rather simple. She died. And Ben, the last living Skywalker, the last person, <laughs> and Ben Solo, the last living Skywalker, the last person in the Skywalker line, brings her back, gives up all of his life force energy, all, all of his soul. Because isn't that what life is but your soul? And he gives it to Rey to resurrect her, to bring her back from the brink of death. That's another thing, too. I don't believe she was actually entirely dead. I think she is, in the words of Billy Crystal... Mostly dead. And Ben brought her back. Gave up all of his life. The Skywalker life force to bring her back. So she has inside her the very life force of a Skywalker. 
wouldn't that be enough to make her a Skywalker then? If that's not a good enough answer, how about this? Have you watched the movies Fast and the Furious, Lethal Weapon? Have you watched The Lord of the Rings or any other movie like that? Why do I bring up these movies? Well, because, I mean, in those movies, they talk a lot about family. People... Like, in the Harry Potter franchise, Harry and Hermione were considered to be part of the Weasley family when they weren't even old enough to be dating. Molly Weasley actually claims Harry as a son because he's got no mother of his own. He's not dating Ginny at this point. In the Fast and the Furious franchise... Every single member of the crew is considered to be part of Dom's family. Lethal Weapon. Throughout the entire series, Riggs is considered to be part of Murtaugh's family. Even Joe Pesci is considered to be part of the family. Now why do I bring that up? Well, because who did Ray spend more time with? Her actual biological family, her grandfather, her father, her mother, who she had no recollection of, barely remembered? Or did she spend a lot of time with Leia, Han, Ben, Luke? Yeah, we didn't see much time pass in the movies, but there was a lot of time that did pass. Just between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, at least a year passed where Leia trained her. She spent a lot of time, probably, with Luke. A lot more than we actually saw. That was the family that had taken her in. They treated her as if they were part of their family. She had, she would carry on the memories of Luke, Leia, and Ben, and Han for the rest of her life. But she barely remembers her own family, her actual family. So which family is she more a part of? The Skywalkers or the Palpatines? She may have been born a Palpatine, but she was more of a Skywalker. She learned from the Skywalkers. She became a Skywalker in her own right because she spent so much time with them. With that side of that family. The only time she ever met her grandfather was at the end. And, like I've been saying this whole video, she hardly spent any time with her own. And the time she did spend... She couldn't remember. You could say it, chalk it up and say, yeah, well, she's at least five. But yeah, most children don't start remembering until around five. Once they're an adult. Think back. Do you remember what five years old was like for you? I know I don't. I have vague images of things that happened, but I don't fully remember things from my childhood that young age. And she lost hers before that. So, of course, she's not going to have memories. So that is my answer then. The two ways is because either A, you can say she has the soul of a Skywalker keeping her alive. Or just that she inherently became part of the family due to the contact and memories of being with that family for so long. If you would like, please, I'd love to hear a comment from you down below. Tell me if you think I'm on to something with this. Tell me if you disagree. I think this perfectly explains everything we need to know about why Ray could be a Skywalker. I want to thank you all for watching. 
If you like this, please tell me some characters you might want me to answer questions on that have been plaguing your mind um, down in the comments below. Um, also, please feel free to subscribe for more. And also, I'd like to give this channel an update. So, I've just released book four. I'm planning to release book five of my series next June. As Christmas gets closer, I might start putting more digital codes in each video leading up to Christmas. These digital codes will be for random movies that I have codes to and don't use. So, if you would like the chance to get your own digital code, please feel free to subscribe below. Also, around the beginning of December, I will be posting a video where I will be asking questions related to the first two books of my series, books one and two. I will post those questions also to my website, and if you would like a chance to win a signed copy of The Guardian of Light, book four, all you have to do to enter to win is shoot me an email with the correct answers. So, if you want a chance for free codes, if you want to stay up to date with this channel and possibly get some free movies, if you want a chance to win a signed copy of book four, please feel free to subscribe today and click the bell so you get notified the second a new video goes up. I want to thank you all for watching and happy writing.